I'm just going to be taking out some orange, some burnt sienna, and some yellow ochre. Okay, so once you guys have your colors ready, make sure you have all your colors. So I'm using a peach, light purple, purple, pink, um, yellow ochre, ocean blue, and burnt sienna. So I'm just taking the peach slash pink, and I'm going to um, apply it on my knife. If you don't have a knife, you can um, do it with a brush, but I just recommend doing it with a knife. And then just slowly apply it like that to each of the sides of the canvas. Before you apply it, you're going to take some white, it doesn't matter what white it is, it just needs to be white, and just apply like dots of it in the middle of the canvas. After this, take your dullish purple and apply it the same way you did with the pink. Now take some yellow ochre and mix it with the dullish purple slash pink. your brush is completely dry it has no wet substance um, for this I'm just gonna dip the edge so it's just white on the tip and just blend it in like that take the brush and slowly start making strokes toward this side now take some more water and start moving the um, colorful part downwards. Now the dull color will have some color, so now you can uh, start to blend it again. Once you're done with that, take a bit of water and start making like a mountainy kind of curved shape. So once you've got that, take a really light purple. Mixed with the white. Make sure the uh, purple is really white. Almost done with the painting. I finished up the grass and I just added some darker shadings over here. I'm just blending the cloud over here and then stroke it downwards and then just blend it normally. The grass, for the grass, I just drew a green outline. And I took some dark green, mixed it into normal green, and just slowly moved my brush in a certain way that would make petals. I'm gonna do smaller ones. I'm just gonna get a smaller brush. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot because I already finished mine. So now I'm just gonna do some really cute flowers. Um, take this and just kind of start. I don't know, dots, kind of. This one. And spin it around and it should create like a... Hold it at the top and the bottom. Spin it around multiple times and it should give you a perfect circle. Now add some white for some highlights. So I'm just adding some finishing touches. Other than that, really. Okay, guys. So this is the final product. This is so cute. Comment down below if you guys want more painting tutorials. I would love to do them. I love you guys so so much. Bye.